really, it was pretty much an impossible task what we set out to do. We, we did that, and we did that by taking plastic out in three, three sort of ways. First of all, we took all the categories that we were packing ourselves, or we had influence on packaging. So produce is a great example. About 40% of our produce was, was loose and 60% pre-packed. We shifted that to 85% loose um, because that's something we could control. And we, yeah, we did that um, pretty much overnight. Um, we then looked at other areas, for example, bread. Bread that we bake in store or got from local artisan bakers was all put into aerated plastic sleeves. We changed that into paper. Um, with our fish counter, we used to, like most fishmongers, wrap, wrap it in a bit of paper and then put it in a plastic bag. We then upgraded the quality of the paper into a wax paper, and then we folded that, sealed it with the, the, the paper price label, and therefore we didn't need to use a, a paper bag, a plastic bag. We also then started to use compostable packaging, packaging to, to wrap our cheese, uh, and so on. The second area then was we went seeking suppliers, manufactured suppliers who produce plastic free packaging um, and we were amazed working with the plastic plant how many mostly smaller niche companies were producing plastic free packaging um, and that could be anything from teas and coffees to deodorants and soaps um, cereal products and so on a whole raft of products mostly as I said from small niche new manufacturers um, nothing from the big major manufacturers as yet and then the third thing we did was we re-merchandised the store to bring all the plastic free products together in zones. We have 28 zones in the store that are plastic free. So that people could really see if, if you wanted a plastic free shop, you could then go around and choose your groceries from those 28 zones. And it's possible to do a full shop for your family um, plastic free if you're prepared to make a few sort of tweaks. Maybe the very specific type of cheese you wanted is not available in plastic free, but you know you, there's certainly a whole raft of cheeses that are available. The the more recent thing we've done is uh, just over six weeks ago we launched our zero packaging section, where we have a whole range of products where you basically are box sold, and you bring ideally you bring your own container back. Uh, you continuously refill those containers, although we have paper bags to help people in the process get started. And that is things you might expect, like nuts and, and grains and pulses, those sort of things. But we have spices, so we have a jar where you can scoop out, you know, fresh coriander seeds. In a perfect world, you might bring the little Schwartz bottle you've used with coriander before and kind of refill it. Um, we have got um, washing powders, you know, detergents, um, soaps. We've got shampoos, conditioners, bath foam. Um, we also then have things like olive oils and balsamic vinegars. We have a milk machine, which is my personal favorite, where you can bring your own bottle or one of our, our reusable bottles and fill up with a liter of organic milk from a local farm, which is, it tastes, the product tastes exquisite compared to the bottled um, product. It's just fresher and more alive. And we have a water machine as well, so you can fill up bottles of water still and sparkling with a very scientific osmosis system so that the quality of water is, is, is better than most bottled waters. Um, so we're up to 2,602 products the last time we counted it. And, and I guess one of the big challenges in my interest in, 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 in sharing my story here is that we need the, the supplier community, the mainstream supplier community, to really engage with us now. Um, to take this to the next stage. Um, I know certainly Unilever have made some very big commitments and announcements and are really taking this seriously. And I'm hoping that other of the big branded manufacturers start to, to look at this. Um, and there is a whole thing about uh, what is the best way to package things. Zero packaging for me is a great solution because if you switch it out of plastic into glass, that's got issues for environmental and carbon footprint point of view. Um, but ultimately, it's what is the best solution and how do we move away from this throwaway society where you wrap something in plastic that may be, you know, particularly fast food, you know, you put it in plastic, it stays in plastic for like less than five minutes and then that, that, that plastic's tucked away and it, it goes, stays forever because it never gets, um, it never breaks down. And certainly the numbers in the UK is only 9% of plastic is recycled in the UK. And I think the US, um, and Canadian numbers are not dissimilar to that. So 
that's kind of so we're on a mission and and the, the amazing thing is that pretty much every major player in the uk many from europe many from north america and, and as far as asia have come to see what we're doing so i think we have achieved our our primary aim which is to influence the industry to make a step change sadly in the uk we have a uh, an eia greenpeace report that's been done every year for the last three years on supermarket use of plastic and it came out about two weeks ago and it showed despite all the commitments and all the big statements that that all the big players have made about plastic. The amount of plastic in UK supermarkets went up in the, in the most recent year. And a couple of notable exceptions, both Tesco, Sainsbury, and I think one other, it's marginally reduced their amount of plastic, but it was very marginal. So really what customers are saying to me is actually it's all greenwash. You know, the statements for the big retailers are just, they don't mean it because in reality we're continuing to use more plastic. Andrew's going to join us in early 2024, a webinar all about packaging and sustainability. So make sure to keep your eye to your email. And of course, always for more information on anything we do, our website, supplier.community.